What's going on? Usually I'm filming with the GoPro, but uh, I didn't bring it tonight because I didn't think there'd be anything to film. And lo and behold, there is. So I'm on my phone and check this out. Penny's doing pretty awesome with complete off leash healing. She's uh, just dragging her leash along. Uh, right, Penny? <laughs> so she's doing really good. Uh, it's tricky with the deaf dog. I got to admit, I didn't think, uh, you know, there'd be a lot of differences. But the big difference is I can't give her any verbal cues. So I can't, you know, kind of call her name to get her back in if she's uh, veering off of heel. Uh, a little tap on the leg. And uh, I'm slowly working the e-collar heel. Uh, you can see on here, let's see if I can get it uh, running at six right now. So nice and low. It's just enough that uh, she'll basically look at me. So if she starts to step out of heel, I can give it a tap and she'll look over at me. Right, Penny? <laughs> and uh, I can get her back into the heel position. So, all right, away we go. And uh, I'm just letting her drag the leash at this point just in case uh, she makes a move for it. But the real breakthrough, I've told this to a bunch of people, is once your dog is uh, recall trained, like Penny is on the e-collar, uh, I can tap vibrate. You guys have seen that lots. So let's say she bolts off and goes for a run. I'll just tap vibrate and call her right back in, no problem. And of course, if any cars are coming along, I will stop, pick up the leash, and uh, heal her by with, uh, with the leash, just in case. Like the car that's going by right now. And on the leash. And once there's no traffic, off we go.